Hey Virgos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I am finally back, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me and being patient. Uh, I'm not sure if you got the announcement that I put in the community section of my channel, but you guys, I got COVID on December 27th. So I have been in quarantine for over 10 days. I'm still testing positive uh, currently, but I'm feeling much better today and stronger. Uh, thank you all for your prayers, those who sent messages. Thank you for your emails, um, for your loving words, your kind words. Thank you so much, you guys. And uh, it's working. <laughs> uh, the virus hit me pretty hard. And honestly, you guys, Happy New Year. I'm just happy to be alive at this point, um, considering how it started off for me. So thank you so much again, and let's get right into it. I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys for tuning in. Okay, here we go. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's going on with Virgos? Virgos! <laughs> What's going on with Virgos this week? This coming week, what's going on with Virgos? What do Virgos need to hear and know? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Oh, okay. The cards want to stick to my hands. Okay. A lot to be said. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, your cards are flying. We have two threes already. Okay. <laughs> Virgos, what's going on with Virgos? <clears throat> Virgos. Okay, something flipped over. Ooh, okay. Mm. <clears throat> so, I feel this energy before I even really show you the cards. We have rejoice and celebration, recognition and reward. We have love begins. And for some of you, let me just say, let me step out of love. Let me step outside of love for just a second. Let me say, some of you are getting ready to receive recognition for what you do, um, something with work or career, okay? Some of you are really stepping up your your game as far as your, your career is concerned, your money, okay? New endeavors coming in for you, okay? So if some of you are watching this and you're like, you know, well, I'm not talking to anyone, I'm not seeing anyone, but you came to your reading, some of you are receiving wealth, okay? That is the love that's beginning for you. Some of you are married to your career. Some of you are dating your job, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna just put that out there like that. If you feel like, oh, love sucks or whatever, you know, and that department is not going well for you, the department that's going right for you, I see right off the bat, is with money, okay? So some of you are really stepping into some, I want to say someone may be investing in a new home, okay? And that may sound cliche or whatever, but I do feel that energy coming through with recognition and reward. Maybe you finally get that loan, home loan or something like that, something you've been waiting on for a while. Someone approves you, someone gets approved for something. So keep your head up, okay, when it comes to financial situations or career, okay, because something big is coming through for you. Stepping back into the love sector, something is coming together, okay? We have the three of cups, rejoice and celebration, okay? You could be dating someone new. You could be talking to someone new. Um, we just celebrated the new year, so some of you could have met someone at like a new year's gathering or party, you know, people are still celebrating the new year with gatherings. So, you know, you could be visiting friends, just, um, going out a lot. Some of you are still partying. Okay. <laughs> I do feel that energy. Someone is going to recognize you. I feel like while you're out, like having a good time, some of you may get approached. Okay. It's like the spotlight shining on you. Some of you may get approached by someone whose brand new love begins, okay? <laughs> Ace of Cups energy coming through. So I feel like someone is going to see you. I don't know. I feel like, like a new lover is coming in. Someone who could be very passionate. Sacral Chakra is here. All about passion and your sexual side. 
Yeah, fulfillment of wishes. See, somebody, mm, okay, it. somebody may be tempted to touch, okay, <laughs> in the new year, okay, in the new year. You starting off real fresh, okay, material harvest is here, the nine of pentacles energy. Someone is checking you out. Uh, vice versa, you could be checking someone out, okay? You could be having feelings for somebody meeting someone new. I feel like this is a new energy. So sorry if you've already been talking to someone. Um, if you have already been talking to someone, something may be rekindling between the two of you. But I'm feeling more so of this new energy coming through. Hope is here. The star card, Aquarius is major arcana coming through. Mm, someone is really thinking about this like obsessively base chakra someone is hoping that maybe you pay them some attention or something like that <laughs> you are like a hot commodity this month i feel it in your money and you have a very attractive energy around you okay so people will be very attracted to you you may be getting more messages this month, um, more invitations to go out. There's something that, like that's very attractive about you in the month of January, okay? So let's see. <clears throat> Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, let's clarify for Virgos. What's going on with Virgos for this week? What's going on with Virgos this week? Clarify this energy, please. Why is Rejoice in Celebration here? The Three of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Whoa. The star card at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all have star quality. I don't feel like, I keep wanting to say this week, but I, I'm feeling more so this month. There's something special about the month of January where you're going to be getting a lot of recognition, uh, I feel like in your, in the career sector, but also, you know, in love, you know, when it comes to romantic interests, maybe you're dressing differently, something about the new year with your body, maybe you're losing weight or you're just, you know, toning up more or there's something different about you. People are very attracted to you with that star energy. Okay. Yeah. All this pentacle energy, money, 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 <laughs> stability, 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 someone coming in to offer. Some of you, somebody is thinking about proposing, okay? You may get a big offer coming in out of the blue, okay? With that ace of pentacles, it's like wham, okay? Ten of pentacles. This, I'm telling Virgo, this feels like a proposal, and if it's not like a, a marriage proposal, this is like a, a big proposal, like to step up. Okay. A big offer. Someone could be like, you know, sitting down to talk a deal with you. Okay. Knight of pentacles. This could have been something that you've been waiting on for a while. You've been waiting on this to happen. You've been checking your emails. Some of you need to, um, if you haven't been checking your emails, you need to. But I feel that energy. It's like some some big offer gets ready to come through. Something comes through. Recognition and reward. Why is that here? Oh, I pulled two. Okay, six of pentacles, two of swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. The lovers. Oh, you've been very humble. You've been quiet. You've been very humble. You've been kind of just chilling. I feel this energy. You you've been chilling. And you've been waiting for things to happen. And I feel like your patience is about to pay off. Some of you, your patience is about to pay off. Some of you are getting a big payout money-wise with that six of pentacles, okay? Others of you are finally getting someone to reciprocate, to finally give you what you've been waiting for. Six of pentacles, reciprocity, okay? What you give out comes back. Two of swords, someone makes a choice. Maybe someone was dealing with indecision. Maybe they had a choice between you and another person or you and something else. Maybe they chose their job over you in the past if you've already been dating this person. Maybe they weren't ready for commitment. There's something here where someone was blindfolded. Someone had to make a choice. And it's like someone chooses love. 
this time someone chooses love gemini's major arcana is here could be dealing with the gemini doesn't have to be could have that in your chart they could have it in theirs why is love begins here why is that here mm, king of pentacles two of wands and eight of cups wow okay <laughs> so this love that someone has vice versa could be you or your person someone is saying virgo i want it with you this king of pentacles capricorn towards virgo energy could be dealing with a fellow earth sign or just someone who is coming in with a lot of stability some of you may marry into money or may start dating someone who is on your level financially some of you are getting someone who's very stable very responsible someone had a decision to make again that two of wands is here two of swords now the two of wands indicating someone had to make a decision okay and i feel like after a long time it's like someone almost like someone leaves something that was very stable or comfortable for them so maybe maybe this person had you know a very comfortable family life or something or maybe they had a lot of you know success or whatever and they say you know what i'm gonna move and i'm gonna go be with virgo it's something of that nature like someone maybe leaving something that was very comfortable for them to come toward you eight of cups could be someone at a distance someone may want you to move toward them okay someone may ask you to move in that may be the ace of pentacles offer that comes in but i always say with the ace of pentacles this is what you want to see in a love reading we have the ace of cups here but the ace of pentacles means stability that means someone is serious okay so you get a serious offer coming in and they may ask you to move in with them okay or vice versa you may ask someone to move in with you so it's like wow big big energy coming through this week for some of you it may be in the the month of january okay so it may play out differently for all of you but i feel like there's such a solid offer coming in and it's something you have been waiting for. Okay. Or this person has been waiting on you. So how, okay. I was about to say, how are you feeling? So you've been in <laughs> Virgo, you've been in your energy, the hermit. So yeah, I feel like some of you, maybe you've been like kind of moping around. Maybe, like I said, I got that energy a little bit at the beginning. Some of you, maybe feel like love sucks or, you know, there haven't been many prospects and you've just been chilling out. You've been patiently waiting. Some of you, you know, <sighs> have you been sick? Someone's been sick. Someone could have been sick. I just got that energy, Virgo, not feeling well or just not feeling your best. Okay. It's time to come out of the sucky feelings for some of you. Time to come out of that energy of moping okay how is virgo feeling about this situation or this person how's virgo feeling about this person let's draw seven of cups so you, you don't know <clears throat> seven of cups some of you could be fantasizing like you you fantasize about having that perfect partner some of you could be fantasizing about a, a life maybe you think you're thinking in your mind about marriage kids but maybe not sharing that with anyone okay Let's see. Some of you are thinking like, how would I be as a parent? Okay, let's see. Yeah, temperance. So again, you've been waiting. <laughs> temperance is my card of waiting. It's also my guardian angel that comes to like bring you peace while you wait. Okay, it gave, gives you grace while you wait. Okay, so some of you have just been in hermit mode, kind of dreaming about a new life, dreaming about your future, you know, that's what these cards tell me. It's like, yeah, I, I've been fantasizing about what it would be like to be married, to have kids, you know, or some of you have kids already, you know, what it would be like to maybe merge or blend a family together, you know, with someone else who has children or, you know, how would I be as a parent? How would I be as a spouse? You know, I feel that energy coming through for a lot of you, like, you know, you are dreaming about having it all. That 10 of pentacles energy. Okay. Oh, something flipped over. Look, that star card had flipped over. Yeah. Someone stands out to you. 
you have somebody on your mind, definitely. Someone is standing out to you with that star card, okay, coming out. And I feel, again, that it's that star quality um, that you have as well around you. You have this star quality about yourself. Uh, some of you are definitely healing. Maybe you're healing from a past relationship or a breakup or something. Some of you are healing. And I tell you, once you heal... The thing that you've been waiting on is about to come into manifestation, okay? Some of you are healing from heartbreak or a um, a physical ailment. And it's like once you heal, the thing you've been waiting on, I just want to iterate that. The thing you've been waiting on is about to come into manifestation once you heal. Okay, how does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel? Feeling about Virgo. Yeah, something flipped. Two flipped. Okay, what we got? Oh, Virgo. Okay. <laughs> uh, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords. They want you. This person is beyond ready. They're ready to rush in. They may trip over their own feet to get to you. Wow. How's this person feeling about Virgo? How's this person feeling about Virgo? How's this person feeling about Virgo? Okay. This one fell out. Five of Wands. Give me one more. Um, so Virgo, this person wants you. But why are they being dramatic? They're being very dramatic. Okay. Five of Wands with the Tower. Okay. They want this so badly. They may trip over their feet and all that to get to you. They want to rush this. But then we have five of wands with the tower. Okay. This person, they're being dramatic because they may be blaming you for like, um, or accusing you rather. I want to say this person could definitely be accusing you of dating other people, keeping your options open. This person may be panicking because they feel competition. And that's where the drama is coming from. Five of Wands with the Tower, Scorpio's Major Arcana. So yeah, we do have Sagittarius here as well. This person, <laughs> they they think you're juggling two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I don't know if you're giving off that energy, like I'm keeping my options open or I'm dating other people. This person is a bit upset and that's where the drama is coming from yeah page of cups they want you to take their cup water sign energy could be someone younger than you doesn't have to be but someone it's almost like it's like i want you to take my cup page of cups to be a spouse with me hierophant taurus major arcana i want a long-term relationship with you taurus whoa i see you as the empress taurus taurus libra energy empress I see this with you, Queen of Cups. Who? The Emperor. Okay. Who? Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, Virgo. <laughs> you know, when I start seeing too many people, let me speak on this for some of you who may be dealing with someone who's taken. I always say this. If I see too many people coming out, okay? we do yeah we have a king of pentacles over here now we have an emperor with a queen of cups and empress with the har font okay so that can indicate that there may be too many people involved all right and that may have been a hold up for some of you you may have gone through a painful breakup with this person that's why i was saying some of you went through some type of breakup and Maybe you're uh, finding new love because I feel the energy of a new lover coming in. Okay? So take it as it resonates. That's for some of you. For others of you, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of feelings. Queen of Cups can represent feelings. There's a lot of feelings between you and this emperor, you and this empress. There are a lot of feelings here. Okay? And the heart font representing you both wanting a higher level of commitment with each other. Now, some of you are already in a committed relationship. Some of you are married to this person already. Okay. And maybe there was a fight 
when I get the uh, five of wands with a, with the tower, there could have been a fight or an argument between the two of you. And it's like, this person wants to apologize. And it's like, will you take my apology? And that's for some of you who are already in a committed relationship or married to this person already. Okay, so I'm picking up different energies. So take it as it resonates. And if you're married to this person or you're in a relationship with this person, I feel the energy coming through that there was a fight or a breakup or a separation of some sort. And this person wants to apologize, but they're unsure if you'll accept it. Okay. Now, for others of you who are single and you're talking to someone new, <clears throat> this is where this is headed. This is headed to Commitmentville, okay? You're about to be committed to someone or someone is about to commit to you, okay? They could have done something foolish in the past, Seven of Swords, where they may have broken your trust or you could have broken their trust, okay? Someone knew that you've been talking to. Someone could have been keeping secrets, Maybe they were dating other people, you were dating other people, and there was a fight about that. But the two of you ha have such a strong connection and a pull that the two of you, it's like, you can't get away from this person. <laughs> you can't get away from this person. They're coming in and they want to apologize. If this person did something to piss you off, they want to apologize for it which is the page of cups and two of pentacles and they want to say they're sorry and they're hoping that you will forgive. Okay. Anything else this person wants to say to Virgo? Whoa, what's this? Yeah. They want you to put your guard down. Okay. Nine of wands flipped out in reverse. Nine of wands came out in reverse. They are hoping that you'll put your guard down. They're waiting for you. Seven of pentacles. They're waiting for you to open up to them and be a little more open to this new love beginning. Some of them want to start. It's like, can we just start over? Can we, can we just start, you know, from scratch? Can we have a fresh, clean slate here? You know, and let's sit down. Let's talk about it. I want you to put your guard down. Okay. So what's the advice? Any advice, please? Okay. For Virgo. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, I said this on the Capricorn video that this card was in the wrong deck. <laughs> And I guess I put it right back. Within the next few weeks, Spirit wants to bring it out again. Within the next few weeks, this came out for Capricorn. So something, like I said, it may not happen next week uh, for this re energy reading, but it may happen throughout the month of January. <clears throat> some of you, maybe uh, even for Valentine's Day, some of you may get a surprise, okay? <laughs> but within the next few weeks, something is getting ready to happen. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Forgiveness. <laughs> yes, forgiveness. I'm telling you, someone is going to ask you for their for your forgiveness. You may have to forgive someone. Okay. Someone may have to forgive you. But forgiveness, Spirit is saying, needs to happen, needs to take place. Y'all need to heal this connection. Look for a sign. Yeah, there could be messages coming in. Uh-huh, look what came out in the near future. In the near future, you guys. Come on now. <laughs> Romance is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you need to uh, let down your guard and tell this person how you're feeling. Tell this person how you feel. Yeah, let's get a cardboard cutout. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo, for Virgos in this situation? For Virgos, okay, we got two. What do we have? I have other options. I'm telling you, this person thinks that you were keeping your options open, and maybe they were, but somebody was keeping their options open. And this is probably what caused the drama or a fight or a breakup Someone was blaming someone for doing this or this was actually happening. Someone, you'll know your own personal situation, still in love with my ex. You guys, yeah, that third party energy that I was feeling, this is for somebody, okay? Yeah, someone needs to close out the cycles of exes or that burn that little black book. You know, because I feel like maybe you were talking to someone 
Maybe uh, you met them a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago. You were talking to someone for a while. And maybe the two of you never developed a relationship and you started talking to other people. Okay? So someone still has attachments. So, like I said, take it as it resonates. That won't be for everyone. But Spirit wants to point that out for someone. Okay? Alrighty, Virgos. That is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great week. I will talk, you, talk to you guys soon. Thank you again. I want to say that before I, before I go. Thank you again <clears throat> for sticking with me as I've been in quarantine. Thank you for not unsubscribing. <laughs> Thank you for your prayers and your support, you guys. I really appreciate it, and I needed it during this quarantine time. Um, I'm hoping to test negative the next time. So thank you again for your support. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.